welcome to another episode of Air Guns and Pesting Channel. In this uh, episode, I'm going to talk to you about two air guns that I picked up. Both of them always had the shroud, but no internal baffles to speak of. So when I was searching for uh, a way to moderate it without greatly extending the length of the barrel at the end of the shroud by adding on a silencer, a moderator, I didn't like that idea. You know, the gun is already long enough as is and to add on another, you know, four or five inches on the end of that just didn't, didn't sit well with me. So I went on, of course, eBay, you know, everybody's got 3D printers nowadays. Well, not everyone, I don't have one, but for those that have 3D printers, you know, hey, you folks out there, you got it going on. I got, I got to jump on the bandwagon and try to learn that myself so I can make my own parts. So anyways, I found a seller on eBay that was selling uh, uh, internal baffles for the Avenger and uh, Nova Liberty. So I own both of those. So I went ahead and purchased them. And I had nothing to compare it against because I don't have a you know, a adapter, like a Dunny FL adapter to fit onto the end of the, the, the shroud. I'm, the only thing I'm using is what came with the gun. So, what I purchased was these right here. I hope you can see that or not. It's broken. This is completely missing. I don't know what happened. I mean, they're, they seem to fit well inside the shroud, but apparently uh, with these chunks right here, didn't uh, work out all that well. They broke in pieces. So, a little disappointing, but it's been over uh, 30 days, you know, return policy, because I bought it last year, so there was no way for me to get it replaced. I could probably contact the seller and let them know that, hey, I don't know what's, you know, what the deal is with your baffles, but they didn't uh, survive inside my uh, shroud or my Avenger. And the day that I took the gun out, out to 60 yards, it was grouping, uh, I think it was like nickel sized groups at, at 50 yards. And I probably could have gotten better uh, groupings if it hadn't been for the pellets clipping on the inside of the shroud. So, there was another seller that we uh, got to talking on eBay. He uh, sent me a couple of his. Uh, Moderators to check, you know, check out. This is it right here. And I'm going to test it out. I have my sound meter device three and a half feet away. I don't know, you know, what the standard is for, you know, checking out. The decibels but oh anyways I have a sound meter I'm just going by the numbers in any event I'm just gonna screw on this end cap that came with the factory shroud so yes it's gonna be loud it's unfortunate that I didn't get a chance to really test this against what I bought on eBay, the broken ones here. So I'm putting a factory end cap back on. I'll do like three shots and we'll go from there.
Okay. First shot. Eighty-seven. Okay. Now I'm going to screw in this other moderator. Okay, with this moderator, it extends it out approximately two inches, inch and a half, two inches. And I tested it, the accuracy, and had to make some scope adjustments to compensate, but all in all, I'm very happy with, with this one, and at least this one didn't get shot up on it internally, so I, I'm good with that. Oh, well, hang on. Gotta turn my meter back on. Okay, here we go. metal in the background did not help it. So let me try that again. Eighty three. From eighty eight, eighty seven down to eighty three. I think you could tell by the sound of it is a lot quieter. I can. 87 but that's it's picking up the pellet hitting the metal down range can't seem to get that sweet spot all right 83 I'll take this all day long it's a lot quieter Gotta keep my eye on that on that gauge, you know. I, I have to do it right, right down there. I'm, or you know, I lose uh, the actual numbers. That was 86, but but still hitting the metal. <laughs> 83. One more. metal that was 86. Overall, I'm very happy with with this moderator on this gun. Now, we'll go on to the Liberty. Be right back. Keep saying that. I can't even shut it off. All right, hang on. Nova Liberty 177. Again, uh, 
moderator, purchased off of eBay. The one that's in there currently is a one piece unit. I'm gonna compare it against this one that I just recently got. All right, here we go. 89, what a crack that was, wow. Eighty-seven. Using white pellets, that's the reason why you get that little sonic boom or loud crack that you hear. <laughs> Eighty-eight. So, with this new one I just got, Hang her down, we'll see. This is the one that I got off of eBay. I'm gonna try this one. Okay. Four. Eighty-six. Looks like I hit some hit some metal down there. Okay. Three. We'll do one more. What a heck of an improvement. Between four and five decibels lower. Yes, there's a noticeable difference. Definitely. I will definitely be leaving a, a link in the description where you can purchase this moderator for the Nova Liberty and the Avenger. If you're interested in purchasing one, but definitely made a big difference out there. So I want to give a shout out to the person that uh, made this and send it to me. Greatly appreciated. Sharing is caring. I hope you found this information helpful to you. You folks stay safe out there. Shoot straight and your pellet hit his target and we'll see you on the next episode of Air Guns and Pesting Channel. See ya.